Just a short video of how I removed an Evoke panoramic sunroof. Uh, basically got the off cut. I've put some frog tape around and then a bit of a screen on top because I'll be cutting along these edges in the front. And all that does is keep the sparks off the glass. Uh, stops it from cracking or any other damage. Uh, I'll get some videos as I'm going through. Just a little heads up, I purchased that off cut for £500. Um, I know from Land Rover, I think about £2,000, £2,500. Um, when you purchase in a second hand unit, you have a part number here, which is 43R-0004064. Basically, you want to make sure they match up the same. Now I'm going to start with the angle grinder and hopefully follow the black line which I've created, black dashed line which I've created, uh, just as a precaution as well. I've got a little bit of steel here and I'm going to put this, literally feed it in there and then push that all the way along. So when I'm using the angle grinder, if for some reason the angle grinder does catch on, I hit the steel and not the glass which will hopefully prevent the glass from smashing, which I'll see. Now that I've removed this outer cover, I'm able to get in with the angle grinder again, and I'll be cutting down the bottom, right at the bottom here, and then that should allow you to pull this back, and now you can easily get to the, the seal there. I'm here, I'll, instead of grinding right the way through, I mean, you have got a five mil uh, gap there. I literally just grabbed hold of it and then kept moving it back and forward. Uh, it weakens the metal and then it pulls away. But now, you, look at that, you can easily get to the, the seal all the way around the side now. Um, I'll quickly get the grinder and take these off, making sure I've got my bit of metal behind just to, just in case. Now it's just time to basically rinse and repeat and do the other side. Just a little tip, every time I cut these edges, I always put a new blade in. So then when you know you're only going in about three mil max, um, you'll have the mark on the edge where it's obviously cutting. So you keep that depth all the way along. Now basically to the front. The front's a little bit harder because it has um, the support running underneath here. So you have to kind of get rid of that as well. Um, but I'll show you once once it's off. Um, I'll try and time lapse a little bit of me cutting this, this front off just so you have an idea. So basically this is the structural part of the front, which, I mean, it's double skinned under here. So first you want to try and remove this bit, and then we'll concentrate on the sides and getting exposing the seal. Just a little update, I've cut these ends off here. I try not to get too close to the end. I cut just like to about there and then I just Go back and forward to fatigue the metal and it breaks it off and uh, i've cut along here and then at the top and then what i'm going to do is go down like that to get this bit of reinforcement metal out of the way and voila 
four skins removed. I removed the first one from underneath and then I used the angle grinder just to go in there and get rid of the second one, which has exposed the seal all the way around now. So now I'll be able to get the oscillating blade and let the blade do all the work. I want the blade to remove the material, not to, to dig into the material. So I'll film that as I'm going. Hopefully, um, I'll do the corners first. Each corner first, just to relieve the class of any stress if there is any stress in it. If anyone's wondering, these are the blades I was using um, from Amazon. I think they're about £20 for a pack of 50. And they worked perfectly. Just took me time. Maybe took two hours, three hours just to go all the way around it. And as you can see, it's actually removing the material, not digging into the material. So I went all around it with the oscillating saw oscillating blade and uh, I thought oh I'd best just double check make sure everything's not cracked and I've done it now we just need a couple of manpower to carry it and that's it it's all out so that's the DC if you're cutting through And we had two people holding, one at the left hand side, one at the right hand side, lifting it up and plonked it in.